Hey guys, this is your boy DJ Buzz, also DJ Morrow. Hey, I'm coming to you from my place here. I want to show you a really, really cool line I just got. This is American DJ Gobo Motion LED. The cool thing I like about this line, it's not like all the other LED lights where there's a bunch of dots everywhere. I wanted to kind of incorporate this so it kind of made it unique on the dance floor, give it a different kind of effect. Uh, this has six Gobos. If you notice, there's six lenses up here six gobos. There's three slots with two gobos in each slot. But the cool thing about it, they're interchangeable. I'm going to show you real quick how fast. There it is. You can see it. There's uh, two gobos in there. But what I'm going to show you is that you can change these up if you want really fast. Time me. I can uh, put the, the, the middle one on the right side and I can change the other one to the left side. And it's really fast and easy. And also, you can replace the gobos. So, like, if you don't like the gobos in here, you can change them up. You can print them out yourself if you like. So, uh, like I said, there's a, a tools to do that as well. So, uh, like I said, you can be as creative, creative as you want to be with this lighting effect. And I found it to be very unique. In fact, I uh, have a video, a little, just a little snippet of a video that I did a, a wedding event at. And I use it as fill, and it, it looked really good on the dance floor. But I'm going to show you more on the light. I'm going to show you the back, uh, the operation of the light, and what it does. So check it out, guys. Okay, I want to uh, elaborate a little more on the unit itself. Uh, this is all in a, a steel case, so it's very, very sturdy. But it only weighs 8 pounds, so it's very lightweight. So it's not heavy. It's very lightweight, 8 pounds. Now, what I want to let you know is you can also have another... It's a, on the box it says two effects in one. Well, what's the other effect? Well, the other effect is if you take this a gobo out, you'll be having a solid beam, six solid beams of light. So if you take all the gobos out, you'll have six solid beams of uh, different changing color lights. So that's another effect as well. Now we're going to look at, at back of the unit. There you have the function display you, uh, right here. And that's a LCD function display. Down below it, you have your function keys. Right here, you have your DMX uh, light indicator. So if you hook up a DMX controller, that's what will light up. And it, the protocol on this is uh, 512, DMX 512 compatible. Also, you have three DMX uh, channel modes. You have uh, one channel, you have three channels, or up to 18 channels. So it's really, you can control this light any way you want. Another uh, feature here is the UC3 controller, which is not included, but it's really a, a, a I'm going to say if you're not using DMX, you, you, you might want to invest in that because it's not that expensive for a, a, one of these remote controls. So uh, I recommend it highly. Right here below it, you have your uh, internal microphone, and right here is your safety chain. Let's get back to over here. That's your uh, indicator for your DMX. Down below it is your master uh, indi uh, light indicator. If you want to make this master, it'll light up as a master. And this is your slave in a light indicator, so if you want to make it a, the slave. And down below that, you have your uh, sound sensitivity in light indicator. Right over here, you have your power input and your power output. So if you want to daisy chain up to nine of these, you can from here. And right here, you have your DMX in and DMX out. Okay, guys, we're going to plug it in, and we're going to basically address the functions Okay, we have it plugged in. I just want to show you the default. It's uh, This is Show Zero, which is actually a program. It has up to nine built-in programs in this light uh, for sound active mode. And it's real, they're really cool, uh, really cool uh, uh, programs. Uh, I, I'm just going to show you briefly so you can kind of see. That's kind of a fade, fading color effect. But I'm going to just go uh, scroll through these. At the same time, you can see it on the camera. That's program one or show one. That's show two. That's show three. In sound active mode, it's even better. Show four. Show five. Show six. And we're in a lit room. If you can see my shadow in the background there. Show seven. And finally, show eight. And then we're back to show zero, which is actually a program. And that's more of a fade program. Uh, I'm going to show you briefly, uh, it's catching my voice right there, I'm going to show you briefly uh, uh, basic some of the programs from the uh, from the instruction manual. So here we go, I'm going to put it in macro mode. 
you have a lot of control with this light. And I'm going to pan real close so you can kind of see. Look at all the control you have in this light. There's a lot of control with this light. Check it out. So if you have a DMX controller, if you have DMX software, I mean, uh, it's really uh, left to your imagination what you can do with this light. Now, like I said, you can in, you can change the gobos, or also you can take these out. So let's take these out so we can have a solid color. And they're really easy to take out. Just unscrew them. Check it out. Put it back. And there you have your solid uh, colors of, of, I mean, these are just beams of light. So, but I like it because it's a little different. If you notice how, see how it blends? Now, I, I have it on sign active mode, so I'm going to hit the table. I'm going to, and that's just on one of the, one of the show modes. That's uh, two. But check it out. Really, I, I, I just like it because it's very different. That's your solid effect or your solid beam effect. Now, yes, there's a little shadow on the side, but I kind of like it. I kind of think it looks cool. I kind of like that, that, that whole thing. And the farther you get, the better it looks. I'm going to say up to 100 feet, it, it looks cool. Right now we're uh, 4 feet. I don't know, actually, less than 2 feet from the partition wall. But it's a really, really cool effect. So, guys, uh, enough said. We're going to see it in sound active mode. Okay, guys, I'm back. I have uh, actually two units hooked up, actually uh, different units. I have the American DJ Fusion Bar FX uh, Bar 5 up on top, and I have the American DJ Gobo uh, Motion on the bottom. What I did was I made this the master and the Fusion Bar the slave, so it kind of looks pretty cool. I'm going to turn off the lights, but I'm going to... It look Actually, uh, it looks pretty cool already, uh, so... Like I said, you can combine any any kind of lights together with any other kind of lights. Um, but it looks really, really cool. I think the front part of it looks cool too. It looks like a looks like it looks like a robot of some kind, like it's gonna or a transformer. So anyway, guys, uh, we're gonna turn off the lights and check it out in sound active. <laughs> Hey guys, I like it. Anyway, I just want to say thank you for watching. Good, good, God bless. Practice and enjoy.